Good afternoon to all the participants and all of uh, those who are present in this webinar. I will extend my use cake on the presentation side, but I will share my screen and explain the context that I have for presentation. So as my fellow panelist Lokesh Bhai explained that and Umesh sir also highlighted that there is a need for research that should be taken before we present anything and prepare anything. But a lot of times as this AI for the accuracy of the content, especially if we have to deal with a complex subject like tax and regulations where things change quite frequently. So in this case, sometimes we do have our research papers or reports from a reputed source like in tax if I have a big four alert or a, any other reputed news alert but it's quite lengthy or sometimes but I really like the content therein so can I use that content to prepare my PPT because I can be assured of the fact that the content would be accurate and update in that sense so I have prepared my use case wherein I will be using an existing PDF in the form of a research paper or a news report or something. And I want to use that for creating my PPT as a source. So let's see. Uh, I'm not using chat GPT because it's a paid feature available for chat GPT-4 if you want to use a attachment option. So I'm using another alternate tool, which is Cloud AI. It's by Amazon. And... So let's see, I open this cloud AI after opening up the login and signing up process. Let's say I have a presentation. Uh, I have a use case wherein I want to see the top five tax and regulatory developments in the startup sphere. There is a report that is already available in the public domain, which is published by one of the big four. I uploaded this report. Now I give a prompt to cloud AI highlight top five tax and regulatory update for startups in the year 2020-13. I would say include relevant legislations and circulars. Just a sec, I need to. Okay, so it has already extended the, extracted the material from the presentation. Now I need to see if that content is correct or not. I can quickly see that this contact is relevant or not. Let me see. I will just quickly verify. Okay, finance bill proposal 2024, sunset clause. There is other valuation. Startups companies on angel tax provisions, new valuation. So if I'm a practitioner in this area, I can quite understand that this content is okay. Of course, you need to verify it very detailed, but I can be rest assured that this content is coming from my own PDF research and it could be relied upon too. Now I can say, okay, sorry. So let's see here. I just, I have this one. Uh, let me copy this PDF and let's say I have this content and I want to create an executive summary or a client meeting. I have to create this in a slide. So I have used another tool which is called gamma.app. There are three options when I use the gamma. I go to the home of the gamma. I can use create new PPT. I can use from paste in text, generate from one line prompt or import a file. In this case, I'm using only the paste in text. The others would be covered my fellow co panelists So I use paste in text. I copy the text that I've generated from the cloud AI. Then I'll paste it here. And it will ask me option, what would I like to create with this content? I want to create a presentation, website or a document. So I'll say I want to create a presentation with this, okay. So I'll say how many presentation, I would say, okay, five, six, seven, depending upon your content, 
you could say okay six cards you can select the three based on the dark light professional since we are in a professional setting we can set the theme let's say as professional and then we can click on the option generate now this ai is will generate automatically based on the content and will okay let's see I hope everyone think like it's a magic, but actually it's indeed a magic. We got everything so perfect. I mean, of course, the content needs to be verified. I'm not denying on the fact, but the a design part, which is major headache sometimes, it gives quite. Then I can export this. I have option to export this into PDF or into PowerPoint. Let's say I export it into PowerPoint. Now this is exported. Now with this PPT, I have two options. I can either edit it in PowerPoint as usual, or which my previous co-panelist explained that I can edit in co, but I can use another AI tool, which is quite popular and it is known for its very rich graphic library. Let's say I want to create a presentation in Canva. I uploaded my presentation that I have created from gamma into canva let's see and then i can perform further edits if i don't like any particular theme or I, the image because canva has quite a great library of images and graphic theme okay so i have bring my gamma ppt into canva now what i can do i can do further edits here let's say I want to bring the background not as white, but as let's say uh, relating to startup, I want to bring something. So in Canva, I can search for background like startup graphics. Let's say I like this image. I can bring this image. I can do some edits here in Canva. I can make it accordingly relevant. Last two minutes, last minutes. So yeah, so this is one thing which I wanted to show. The other is within Canva, I have an AI image generator tool as well. Let's say I would write the prompt, create an image of startup founder receiving funding from venture capitalist, let's say. will generate automatically within Canva. Let's say I want to bring this image here. Okay. I can put it again, put it as a transparent or as a whatever. So what I'm saying in my uh, AI cases, this is all from my, that there are, I mean, content wise, cloud AI, chat GPT, Gemini, they can do a lot of research for us. And even if you have an existing source of research, we can use that. And then we can use the AI tools like Gamma to create a very structured layout and it, if you want to create it more beautiful, we have graphic designing tools like Canva, wherein there is endless possibility to unleash your creativity. So this is all from my side. Thank you everyone for listening to me and AI and ICI for presenting my use case. Thank you.